Now, if you're convinced that a neighbour or a colleague isn't quite from this planet, you could just be right. A Cambridge University professor says that if aliens exist, the principles of evolution mean that they're likely to look like humans and not like little green men. Well, I'm joined by the space journalist Sarah Crudders who's going to help me explain it. Uh, let's have a look at what this uh, Professor Conway Morris is claiming. Uh, he's saying that if you're an alien, uh, you'll probably end up with eyes, limbs and digits, fingers. So, uh, in other words, uh, it's life, Sarah, but as we know it. Well, I think what he's trying to say is I think throughout science and our understanding and our, our trying to gain understanding about the world around us, we've made assumptions. Uh, so 400 years ago, we assumed we were at the centre of our solar system and the sun went around us. And this is a similar sort of assumption. So he's assuming just because we've had evolution here on Earth that you're going to get evolution on other planets. So you're going to have primates that evolve. Same, yeah, yeah. So, but what we've learned throughout science and throughout history is that's not the case. And literally the universe is not only as strange as you can imagine, it's stranger than you can okay, imagine. Okay, now one of the things he's saying is that you will need cognitive sophistication, i.e. a brain. Uh, will aliens have to have a brain? Or? Well, if there was to be intelligent life, they'd have to have some sort of form of a brain. But there's this thing known as the Fermi paradox, which actually means if there are intelligent aliens out yeah. there, why haven't they found us just yet, considering because, how many see, stars... his argument is, is that other creatures, like sharks, for example, have evolved along a similar pattern to us, if you see what I mean. Brains, but again, that's fish. quite an arrogant assumption, though, to assume that just right. because life on Earth is involved in that way, it would do on other planets. All right, so where's this... Uh, life likely to be? I mean, there have been quite a lot of looks in our solar system, well, aren't there? Well, the thing is, with life elsewhere in the universe, it's more a case of disproving rather than proving. And within the next 40 years, we'll probably be able to say with almost certainty that there is some form of life out there. And if you take our own solar system, so you have Europa, which is a moon around the planet Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system, you could fit all the other planets inside it. And Europa is special because it's got a frozen ice surface, but beneath it, we believe the seas. And we know from our own experience of our own planet, that life yeah. can exist in the strangest places. But what places. they're talking so, about is sort of single cells or, not, no, or amoeba. No, potentially alien fish. We don't know. It's, uh, there alien is, fish on there Europa. Is the potential. We've got alien-type fish in the deepest, dark bits of our ocean that we don't know right. about. There is the potential within science. And it, it does sound ridiculous, yeah. but you've got to remember we're only scratching the surface of what yeah. we know Well, that's the, the thing, and because, I mean, you can look much, much more widely there, much better chance that elsewhere... Uh, possibly in this okay, galaxy. Okay, so this is our galaxy with the Milky Way, which we're part yeah. of one of many other galaxies in the universe. And there's more stars out there than grains of sands. And every single star you see when you look up in the night sky has at least one planet around it. So you only need one in a million to have an Earth-like planet, and then you're getting similar yeah. life to us. Well, this is the one. This is the big figure. There oh, are the 100,000 <laughs> million stars in our galaxy. Yep. And there's supposed to be 100,000 million galaxies. Yeah, right? the universe is teeming with life in some form or another, whether it's like us sure or that. whether it's like that. It's more a case of disproving rather than proving. Okay, you think there's life out there? Well, thank you very much <laughs> thank indeed. Thank you. Uh,